and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest Builders. I forgot I was dying of hunger. One second. Before we talk to everyone, let's get ourselves some food. Alright, so to get food, we need a cook fire. Where is it? What am I missing? Oh, I'm missing five branches. Seriously? Alright, let's just get ourselves some branches. Uh, do I need one more? I think I need one more. Or two more, actually. One right here. Got, actually, can I just break these up? Okay, good. I can just get branches off the dead trees. Okay, let's make ourselves that cook fire. Also, since those people technically don't live here anymore, the monsters will just ignore them. And me. Yeah, this uh, kind of looks a bit weird. Anyways, I need food. I need to make myself a kitchen soon. Oh, there we go. Okay, not dying anymore. Anyways, we have some people here. Uh, first person's first. Hello, princess. Well, it's mostly back. That side of the town is still kind of gray. Ooh, strength ring. Awesome, that's actually pretty good accessory. Plus five attack. Anyways, what do you do? Please, uh, please ignore what's happening over there. Okay, I just single-handedly stormed an enemy fortress to get this back. Don't smart mouth me, or I'm trapping you in the pit. Oh, actually, he's pretty kind to us. Yeah, we're, we're working on that, okay? So yeah, this is the Royal Guard of Tandigal. He's, a uh, He's doing a bang-up job right now. I don't know, but you might want to help the princess. There you go. Also, last person, Ferland. But yeah, now that everyone we've met so far is here, we can finally start rebuilding. Alright, so I'm just gonna let them take- okay, fine, we'll take care of the monsters. Oh, this isn't a sword. That's also not a sword. Oh wow, oh wow, these guys actually hurt quite a bit. Don't mind me. I almost died inside my own base. Anyways, let's start getting some quests. So what do we need to do? Yeah, the castle isn't looking too great. Hmm. Well, we could make a flying castle. I was kind of inspired by those orbs they've been building around town, or town, around the land. A flying castle would protect us against monster attacks. Oh, right, throne room. Anyways. I didn't say that, but sure, we'll build you a throne room. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? A floating castle might not be a bad idea. This could be like the staging platform, and then from here we would just build up. Ooh, actually, that might look really cool. Here, let's just get, grab the rest of the quest, see what else we can do. Whatever you say, door. It looks like we're talking to a door right now. Alright, so you want us to build you what's known as a diviner's den. Okay, I could build it there. Or I could ignore you. Oh, no blueprint. Ah, uh, I really need to stick a bunch of stuff in storage. One second. Let's just see what he has to say. Are you guarding my bedroom? Ooh, those sound really cool. Sword of Kings and the Aurora, Aurora armor. So yeah, we need to rebuild both of those eventually. 
I mean, we could just equip them, you know. Okay, so you want us to build you a treasury. So we need a colossal coffer, one chest, and three treasure chests. Okay, very simple. Oh, also bold banners, apparently. Here, you know what? Can I make a colossal coffer yet? Please say yes. Uh, where is it? What am I missing? A lot of stuff, actually. Wood, fur, and a pot. I can get the pot right now. Here, you know what? I'm just going to grab the materials I need for those. So I just need wood and fur. Both of those are pretty easy to find. Alright, let's go find some. Fur we can just find from the hammer hoods in the area, and then wood we can just revive trees to grab those. Uh, let me see. But yeah, you know what? I'm thinking of a floating castle. Kind of like what they did in like, some of the later Dragon Quest games with the, uh... Oh, what were they called again? I know there was like a race of dragon people that did the whole floating castle thing in those games. Not in the first game. I think it was like in the third game was when they first started appearing. Something like that. Anyways, so yeah, I'm thinking floating castle. And not just like right off the ground, I mean really high. Okay, maybe not really high up. That might be a bit absurd. Hmm. But to do that, I'm gonna need stairs. I know where I can find stairs. Okay. I'm gonna build a colossal coffer first, and then I'm gonna go get myself some more stairs. Alright, so... Oh, I've gotta get the fur. Darn it. Thought I forgot something. Uh, first things first. I'm just gonna turn all of that wood into actual wood. Well, lumber into wood. Alright, I need to go find some sta not stairs, uh, fur real quick. I could have sworn I passed by some hammer hoods in this area. Oh, yep, I see one. Although, if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna need to demolish everything else that's already here. Why am I using my hammer as a weapon? Well, whatever. Oh, I'm also gonna need a lot of dirt. Or, actually, I could just use ash. No, I'm gonna need dirt. Because I'm going to need to make a base for the castle, too. This is going to be a very long-term project, like the last town. Last time we did, like, a Midgar-esque design, where we have an upper good level and a lower slum level. This one? No. Completely floating castle. No supports whatsoever to the ground, except for some stairs to actually get to them. It's going to really depend on how many stairs I can get from uh, looting the fortress. Oh, also I need food again. I might want to make myself a kitchen at some point, too. Alright, there we go. Anyways, uh, let's see. Colossal coffer, colossal coffer. Oh, there we go. Alright, so we don't have to worry about inventory space ever again. I'll move that later. Actually, let me just double check one thing. If I stick stuff in here, I can pick this up, right? And it'll still have everything in it. Yep, there we go. Okay, so that's easy enough to move. Oh, also I should probably grab this blueprint. So yeah, let's take a look at what we need to build, actually. So the princess wants us to make her a throne room. Pretty basic. Some of the stuff we need to build this is going to be a pain to get, but... It shouldn't be too hard to get, actually. Because if we're going to be raising the castle to the ground, we're going to get plenty of uh, castle walls and foundation. And we already have the doors. Okay. That shouldn't be too hard. I'm actually just going to leave that right there. Just so I don't have to carry it around with me. I'll come grab it when I need it. And then this is the... What is this? Diviner's Den. Also really simple. Yeah, I'm just going to leave this here for now. Actually, I can break these... Uh foundations with my sledgehammer. Can I just break them with a normal hammer? I can. But yeah, I'm gonna save that for now. Actually, no, before I go, I should probably wait until morning. Oh, we also have water in this castle. No, I probably shouldn't. We could do a giant floating castle over a lake, actually, now that I think about it with the uh, water. We'll see. 
Actually, yeah, we're gonna need to keep the water because we're gonna need access to this fountain at all times. Because we're gonna need holy water. Anyways, I'm just gonna go to the enemy castle again and take a couple of things. I'm pretty much just gonna steal everything that isn't nailed down. And several things that are nailed down. And the nails. And the floor if I can. But I don't think I can. Man, it's just so weird to see that lush forest in the middle of this giant gray wasteland. I should probably be spreading more holy water everywhere, but I'm gonna save it for when I actually want to harvest from an area. Oh, right, I forgot I left the door here. It's open. Anyways. Oh, I can also, uh, loot that thing over there. I think that's mostly coal, actually. Let me see. Yeah, that's mostly coal. Okay, if I need more coal, I'll just come back here. Actually, I think I'm out of coal. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to grab that. Maybe I'll do it on the way out. I still don't have any wyvern wings, unfortunately. I need to make sure I slay some wyverns later and grab their wings. I'm not going to grab everything in a single go, obviously. That's going to take forever. I'm just going to grab what I want to grab. Also, yeah, I'm going to need to grab the chest anyways, because... Uh, we need treasure chest to make that treasury room. I'm pretty sure the game wants you to steal everything. What the? Oh, clever. They save space by basically exploiting how, uh, stairs work. This is actually gonna make it a bit annoying to go up, but that's okay. I could just reinstall these stairs at some point. Oh, I can't break the floor. Actually, I probably want to be careful about breaking the floor. So yeah, theoretically, I could steal the floor. But no, I'm just gonna stick with the wall hangings and the stairs. Here, in fact, I'm just gonna fill these in real quick, just so I don't fall through every single time. I want to come up here. Alright, what else can I take? Take you. Take you. Take you. Here, there should be more stairs in this area. Yeah, here we go. Do these use the uh, same trick? No, they don't, actually. These are actual stairs. And there goes my mallet. I might want to make myself another mallet soon. Can I break these? No, I can't. So yeah, what I'm thinking of, two giant staircases that lead into the heavens where the castle's gonna hide. Far up, so far up that the Dragon Lord's forces can never reach us. That being said, we're probably gonna die a couple of times of falling off the castle, but that's fine. Evil idols, more chests. Are there any more stairs I can take? Oops. Yes, there are. I will take you. Don't mind me. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna go up to the top, grab as many stairs as I can, then head back. How many do we have now? 64. Yeah, that's more than enough. I'm not even sure if there's an upper limit about how far up you can go with the castle. Or with the- not the castle, the town. Where it still counts as part of the town. Also, we got the rescue for a bold banner. Yeah, unfortunately, to make those, we're gonna need to, uh, get materials from those wizard enemies, which is more annoying than it sounds. Ooh, more stairs. Uh, yeah, let's just grab these. We're gonna need to make our way back. There we go. Alright, so how should I get back? Actually, I can just do this. I barely take any fall damage. Can I steal these? Oh, oh! I'm okay. Right? I wasn't on the ground floor yet. I'm okay. Let's just, uh, head back. I do want to make myself a kitchen soon, though. Just so I have a place that people can cook for me, and I won't have to worry about food. Anyways, before I head back, I am also going to... Uh, get up here so I can harvest this. I'm pretty sure this is, like, entirely coal. Yeah, it's entirely cool.
I think the inside is actual rock. Oh, what? There we go. Alright, let's just grab it all. Can never have too much coal. Actually, that's kind of true. Coal is more important to get a ton of than the other materials. Because you kind of need to forge anything. Or even to cook sometimes for some reason. Alright. Uh, there's still more coal here, but I think I'm just going to come back for it. It's going to take too long to just build around and grab it all from the bottom. Yeah, I'll just come back for it. Let's head back. Wait, I hear fireballs. Where is it? I need to take your clothing. Well, the stuff your clothing is made out of. There we go. Okay. So yeah, we're going to need to make two banners, I think. Oh, I think we also need a couple of banners for the throne room. We need a lot of banners, actually. That's fine. Alright, we're almost back to the castle, at least. Did I really loot this area yet? I think this was just where all the ro Yeah, that's just where all the rocks were. Okay. Alright, we are back. Also, I think there's something on the hill I forgot to grab. Oh well. Alright, so let me see here. We need to build stairs. We have 84 staircases. So let's build. Oops, nope. Give me that back. Unfortunately, yeah, we still have that whole mid-air thing we can't do. Which is annoying, but we can work our way around that. Let's make like two, four square wide staircases. Oh, I need more, uh... I want to keep it kind of even, at least. Oh, wait, that was my bedroom. That's fine. I can make myself another one. Oh, wait, I need one more. Yeah, I'll fix that later. Alright, staircases. So here's what I'm thinking. Two... Do I want four across or just one across? No, you, or not one across, or like three... You know what? No, four. They're gonna be super grand staircases. And then, yeah, I'm gonna need to line them with uh, earth blocks. Or just castle walls, to be honest. That's not midair. That's not mid... Right? I forgot. The back of staircases don't count as walls. Oh, seriously? Get out of my way. I'm trying to build here. Alright. So let me see here. I could just replace these with dirt, too, but... Meh. We have plenty of castle walls right now. But yeah, eventually I might... You know what? I want to save the castle walls we're actually building with. Yeah, we should just use dirt. It might look a bit on the ugly side, but I'm pretty sure I can just plaster over it later. With some claddings. So let me see. Let me do the math real quick. Every level is going to take 8. And we have 80. We're going to go 10 squares up, apparently. I'm just going to use all the stairs. Unfortunately, yeah, this is going to be a problem. Okay, I know the pattern, what I have to do now. Actually, no, I can just do this. Never mind. Okay. So, yeah, unfortunately, building stairs is kind of annoying in this game, due to the fact that they have to be on solid ground. We can get rid of the solid ground later, but for now, we'll just have to work with it. But yeah, I'm just going to keep going up, and up, and up. It's going to take a while, so I think I'm just going to do most of it off-screen. I'm just going to be repeating the same exact pattern over and over. What are you two doing down there? You know what? Never mind. I'm just going to be repeating this uh, same pattern over and over and over again. So yeah, I'm just going to end the episode. You know, no, we're going to keep going for a little while. Because... Another thing I'm thinking of doing is completely leveling this area. Like, demolishing every single one of these walls to get the material. No, that's not stairs. To get the materials for. So I can use it to rebuild the castle up in the air. Also, I do want to do a bit of testing before I do any of this. 
Actually, you know what? No, yeah. I should probably do some testing just to make sure that it still counts as inside the town. I can tell that by the fact that if I build a room up there, even a tiny room, if I get points for it, it's still considered inside the town. Also, I'm starting to run out of dirt. Those also aren't stairs. You know what? No. I'm just going to keep building. But this is pretty much just going to be the rest of the episode here. Here, I need more dirt. Also, I need to remember to come back with these blueprints later. I do also want to build myself another sledgehammer soon. I think I have the iron to make another sledgehammer. Alright, that's enough. Let's keep building. I do want to also just completely block off that wall. Like, yeah, this is just going to be like a little... Ugh. Those do not... The dirt doesn't look good, but you know what? Like I said, once I unlock some cladding or something to upgrade dirt walls, I can fix it. But for now, we'll just have to bear with it. Unfortunately, I can't do the double build when I'm facing down like this. If I could, that would make things so much easier. Okay, we're about halfway there. Ma yeah, we're about halfway there. What, four more? Yeah, four, four more stairs. We're almost there, guys. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to do the testing real quick right now. So, four more. One... Alright, so here we go. Two, oop, nope, come on, no, don't fall. Oh god, please do not fall right now. Two, three, four. Okay, so this will be the top floor. Still not the highest possible, but it works for now. Who knows, maybe I'll make a second castle right above our normal castle. Maybe I'll make it upside down. That would be a pain, actually. So yeah, I want to make a small room up here, just to make sure there's not, like, a height a limit of how high we can build. I'm pretty sure we don't, but better safe than sorry. And yeah, at some point I'll have to make some cladding to get rid of these dirt floors. Alright, so let's just make a tiny, tiny room. No, oh, come on. There we go. I don't know why I didn't double stack these earlier. Alright, and then just a light source. Okay, it counts. Okay, we still it still works. But you know what? I wonder if I can find myself some more stairs. Because seeing the view from up here, I want to go higher. I want to go so high we can't see the floor. No, actually that's way too high. But I do want to go higher. And higher and higher. We'll see. The problem with this is, hmm. The problem with this is, uh, let me see. Once we get up too high, we're gonna be outside of the base boundaries. If I went a bit higher and then, huh. You know what? This should be high enough. We'll see. If I can find myself some more stairs, I might build it even higher or make more stairs. But for now, this should do. So off screen, I'm gonna finish up these stairs and start clearing away the entire bottom floor there. And then next time, we're gonna start rebuilding. Also, I'm gonna make myself like a good base of dirt, just so I can start building uh, what people want. But yeah, next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest Builders, I wanna go higher. I wanna go so high. But we have to be realistic. So, till then.